Why is borrowing so important to the United Kingdom? And can I ask you, Dr. Patrick, you said earlier that um, you talked about the heart of power. Now, if the heart of power in Bahrain is not the king, where is it? Well, it's a contentious issue. Um, the king clearly has leverage at the risk of being facetious. Um, the usual cliche is it's the uh, uncle of the king, uh, the man who's been um, prime minister since Bahrain's independence. Um, there's a security apparatus. It involves the head of the Bahraini Defence Forces, his brother, uh, who runs a very important job in all these countries of heading up the royal court. Um, those two brothers overlap, not just in familial terms, but it seems in particularly conservative takes on Bahrain's national interests. So that's not the sole heart of power. Uh, clearly the king has influence, the crown prince has a degree of influence, the prime minister's there, but these two brothers also have weight as well. Um, the danger, of course, is uh, we might also be susceptible to a kind of good cop, bad cop routine. I mean, I think we're in danger of misleading ourselves if we think if only the crown prince had power, things could be fundamentally different. I suspect that isn't true, because it reaches a point when how much do you allow political openness to the extent that your own role in that future political scenario becomes questioned. Uh, we might like a neat constitutional arrangement for the monarchies of that area, but that might not be how the politics goes. Um, so why does Bahrain matter um, in terms of those machinations or just generally? Um, it's a historic relationship. Uh, it used to house our naval forces. We effectively uh, transferred it to the United States and therefore it's a useful um, apparatus, if you like, as part of the wider involvement of states in Gulf security, of which we're a part. So in that sense, it matters. And 